What's going on guys, my name's Erupt and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video and in today's video we're going to be doing public S&D tips and tricks so this is mainly for pub players, some of these tactics could be applied to competitive if that's your cup of tea but today's video is mainly going to be based on people looking to increase their win-loss ratio in public games. So I'm going to break this down. There's not a lot of things that can be perfected in S&D because it's such a random and luck-based or timing-based kind of game mode. So I'm just going to teach you some things to reassure you and uh, basically keep you in that kind of safe zone of S&D where you kind of got everything on lockdown. You kind of know that you're in control of everything. So the first thing I want to mention is the OBJ. What he should be running or she should be running as well, sorry. The OBJ should probably be running an SMG mainly because if your teammates do die and these tactics go to absolute waste then you're gonna have to slam that bomb down if you see a little head pop over the bomb you're gonna have to slam that bomb down get up with your SMG and just rip into them with the SMG and the SMG obviously has reduced time to pull up fast hands could come in use in these situations as well so that's another thing to note for OBJ so the OBJ obviously as I just said is the bomb planter just keep that in mind so the next tactic I go with is actually three facing red and red is basically the enemy spawn so you can have three facing the enemy spawn and I'll tell you in a minute where those guys should be placed. Another thing to mention is the two facing spawn. So you'll have the other two members in your group of six facing the spawn and just making sure no one flanks in general, you know, because a lot of people in pubs do like to run around the back and just flank your team. So you guys can just turn around and you've already got two there, just steadily waiting for someone to run around that corner and try and pop your team in the back with a shotgun. So as I mentioned, there's going to be three facing the enemy spawn, but where should they be placed? I put two on the side you are weakest. So if you have a really weak side, like for left, for instance, if that's the weakest side, then you put your two players over there and then you have one on your strongest side. That one on the strongest side should probably be a better player than the other two on the left they're just there for numbers and call outs really so one facing red around mid map and that's basically the guy that i said is the the best player so he could either be on right or mid map just to counter a lot of things for example people just running down mid or even running down the right side so he's just really there as a counter act and once again he can also be there for call outs early call outs and just to buy you a bit of time to either plant a bomb or defuse the bomb so with the slayers which are the two people facing in the enemy spawn I prefer to put them with assault rifles mainly because you can cut off a threat from quite a long distance and that's what the assault rifles are made for cutting off people at a long distance and being able to take cover and just getting those kills easier and then the two people facing spawn should probably be using SMGs because they're gonna be tightly locked into either corners or places that aren't rarely seen and designed so you can just quickly kill the enemy without the enemy even being able to see you there that's the whole point of the two people facing spawn to be kind of like a, a hidden threat someone comes around the corner and they just jump out of the corners and uh, yeah it's kind of newbie but it does get the job done trust me guys so what I recommend also for the blues if the blue people who are facing spawn have to leave the spawn for whatever reason I definitely recommend putting some shock charges in place that you think the enemy have come or you're predicting that they've come on different rounds before so just chuck them down and these shock charges should give you a little buzz on the screen I'm not sure what they're actually called in black of three I haven't checked but I know they're in it somewhere and uh, yeah they, they give you like in a little lurk they're kind of like a little trip mine they don't actually kill but they can just show you where they are and stun them for a bit so if you're quite close then you've also got that opportunity of when they're stunned to just jump around the corner and once again take them off your screen so really guys that's all i can't give you a definite a definite best class setup for this guys but i have gave you some of the guns that you can probably use for this and i've gave you some of the places that you should probably be looking in this game mode so you can just have the map on more of a lockdown obviously learn the maps is one of the other things so you know the call lights for your teammates so when, when there are people facing the enemy spawn shouting all these call outs and you're planting the bomb and you're really panicking that you just have a bit more of reassurance and you know exactly what they're on about but that's all for today guys i hope this has been helpful for you guys be sure to leave a like comment subscribe share this on your social media for more black ops 3 tips trick news and updates in the community my name's been erupt and have a great day